episode two, disengage. Few things I liked, few things that are questionable. It starts off with a recap. That's kind of cool for the uh, the type of show that it is. Not to say that it should be. It is this. Basically, it's this kind of modernized Star Trek show. If it was Star Trek Next Generation, it would probably be a little bit different. Uh, different style. But they're, they're going with this, this style. And a lot of shows do this. And... It makes a lot of sense to do a recap, and it works. Starts off with a little bit of a flashback to like uh, a year ago or something, a while back. And this guy, the son of Beverly Kusher, he's like, he's in a spaceship, and he's handing out uh, medical uh, aid to people who need it, but then he gets... He gets boarded by uh, the police or whatever they are. And then he had to like uh, bribe them or something. And now back to where we are now. Here they are. Riker's like, you know, there's he reminds me of something. It's you. And then later on, spoiler alert, you find out Picard figures it out later on at the end of the episode. And that's kind of really good. I liked it. As soon as... Riker wakes up Beverly later on in the episode. Picard realizes, yeah, it is my son. And not my other son. Because he does have another son, like a clone. This is like a son's son. Which I think, you know, you'd probably remember if you had sex with some mother. But it was a long time ago. And he's really old. And he's a robot. Take a look. It's in a book. It's the actual son of La Fa. Button. Did I say son? What am I thinking? Donna. God damn it. I screwed it up. That's kind of how they all feel. Like, we're screwing this up. We're all going to die. Yo, yo, mama. He's like, hey, we're not going to go and try to dig them up. They dug their graves with you. What do we do? <coughs> they lose their shuttle. They're being sucked in. They want the, the boy. Card has a good intro. Episode 2, Season 3, Disengage. Meanwhile, Ralphie the girl is trying to figure out something. She's trying to solve a mystery. Who blew up the Starfleet Academy? Or whatever it is, that building. But first, she's having a conversation with like a robot or AI. I mean, it's like a computer, you think. Well, later on, you find out who it is. Well, I've already spoiled it. I mean, spoiled another or another thing. I might as well just spoil everything. Nah, I'll just pretend I didn't spoil anything. Tell you later. Suspect identified. Hey, man, I'll tell you something. You trying to put me out of business because I'll help these old guys? They're my friends, even though not really my friends, but I'll, I'll tell you something. You could be known in the history books as the people who either saved Picard and Riker, or you'll go in history as the ones who let them die, God damn it. Good day, sir. Or as we like to say nowadays, uh, mister, uh, man, dude. Whatever, uh, what's it called? I don't know. Sure, what do they say in the army nowadays? I guess in the future they'll just say, Sure. Oh, oh no, it's Scooby-Doo. No, it's, it's the Ghostbusters. Look at that. Well, it was nice meeting you. Yeehaw! They get teleported right at the last moment, right before they were gonna, like, be destroyed or sucked in to the bird spaceship, the enemies. I guess the other guy, the other captain guy, he was like, okay, I'll go and I'll try to save them. And now we go back to this girl trying to save the day, her little side mission. She goes and see the, she sees her, uh, I don't know, her, her baby's father. But she also wants some like inside scoop because he's trying to solve a mystery. And he's like, what in the world? 
I thought you wanted to see your son or your daughter or whatever it is. I think it's a daughter. How dare you? You can only pick one. I'm out of here. I'm like Will Smith in 30 years. That's right, yeah. Ah, uh, hey guys. What a wonderful time. You got one hour. Uh. I said, John Luke Picard, you got one hour. There are four lights. Wait, wait, hold on. Um, did you know I'm a robot? Huh? 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 Oh my god. Are you a robot? My mom had sex with a robot? I want a messed up family. <laughs> I love messed up family. I feel like I'm a reject from The Walking Dead. Yeah, you do look like a Walking Dead with your buds. Actually, I'm a reject from The Power Rangers, the movie. You remember when they went to Fultron or Sauron or whatever the planet was? Hey, wait, that's Lord of the Rings. Wait a minute. When she went to... Oh my god, she went to the video, no, to the planet, and there was a bird aliens that were fighting them, and then YouTube came and deleted Oatmeal's 10,000 videos. God damn it, 10,000 videos, that's a lot of videos. YouTube, why did you do that? Yeah, take a look. It's in a book. No, it's in a 10,000 video. That's right. That's racist. Man, why do you keep on saying that? Everything ain't racist nowadays. I just want my mom back. Shut up, I'm trying to smoke. Gotta think on our feet. Otherwise, Mango won't get us again. Doctor! Oh my god! They're throwing a spaceship at us and it broke the shields. If anything I learned from my father is that the laws of physics can be broken with another kind of law of physics. Wow! This is getting kind of intellectual. Wow! You're only like. The TV show, Next Generation, was more intellectual than the uh, original series. Right. Take that, Kirk. Oh my god, you got a thing for Kirk? He's an old guy. He's older than you. He's like 10 years older than you. Meanwhile, look, Armageddon behind his big explosion. It like Joker in the Dark Knight blowing up a hospital. We gotta go figure this, this thing out. Boom, Zaglaga. Hey, let me do the Picard face palm, spawn, palm, spawn, no, palm, put my hand in my face, put, put my head in my face, oh my god, no, put my head in my face, no, put my head in my, my hand, my hand, my palms, oh my god, it's like doing the Picard thing, and doing the Picard sound, no, doing the, the Picard facial expression, the Picard thing in a barber, oh my god, what are we gonna do, I'm feeling like, I need I need to be I need to be the older brother or the taller brother in Everybody Loves Raymond and like I feel like look at me and just like look at me and like hey man you like my uh you like my little badge it's kind of fancy hey wait a minute why did Riker get a different badge hey wait a minute Kathy stole my bike god damn it why is Pizza back on Discord hey this guy he's a he's a he's a he's a fake he's a fugitive you got one hour. No, you got 30 minutes, and then we gotta, we gotta give them this guy that they want. Otherwise, they're gonna blow us up. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't work anymore? What am I gonna do? Get a, get a job at 7-Eleven? With, with Kyle? The guy is Kyle. Rittenhouse? No, god damn it, better than... God damn it, you know your neighbors, you can go tell him to move up into Seattle with Bakhtin Zah. His name's Jaya, god damn it, his last name's Joe. Nobody cares about that. We gotta figure this Scooby-Doo mystery out before it's like one hour. Cause we only got one hour per episode. We gotta figure out this mystery, the mystery of the day, the mystery of the week. But you do know it's your son, right? I see. We all see. We can all feel it. We can... Don't you see? The boy is your son. Lion King. It's all we can do for love. Woo. Yeehaw. Stop it, father. Wesley, I am your father. Just kidding. We made love on the bathroom floor. Now this part, this part's pretty good if you think about it. Picard is like, he's like interrogating the guy, his son. And he's trying to figure it out. He's trying to figure out, is he a bad guy? Is he a good guy? Is he, is he a good guy or is he a great guy? Osama Bin Laden, 2001 Thanksgiving video. Me and my brother, my older sister, my younger sister, we're in a car. You gotta see the video. That's right, Thanksgiving. 
No, it was it Thanksgiving or Christmas? Hold on. It was Christmas. I'm sorry. Totally forgot. It was Christmas, of course. Christmas. Christmas 2001. Have a co- they were having a conversation. And I'm just like recording. And they're talking about Osama Bin Laden. And I'm like, is he a good guy or a great guy? <laughs> is he a great guy or a good guy? Is he a... <laughs> and then... Fast forward about 20, 30 years. Not 30 years. What am I thinking? 20 years. Almost. No, 21 years. Like, dead wing dork. So, so he's watched my video on Valentine's last year. And he's like, he's watching that video, for example. And he's like, what in the world? Because he's like, watching that video. I had a bunch of other videos for three hours. He did a three hour video on me. And then, and then YouTube deleted more of my videos. Even more of my videos, goddammit. And I did a bunch of reaction videos, like 20, 30 hours of reaction to his to his three hours, goddammit. But I was like, is he a good guy or a bad guy? I mean, is he a good guy or a great guy? <laughs> I just said it like, kids, you know what kids do? Kids say the darnest thing said Bob Cosby. Cosby? Wait, Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. Bob? Wait a minute, who's Bob? What in the world? So anyway, so Picard's like trying to figure things out, and 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 it was kind of like the old Picard in a lot of ways. It was probably the best, um, probably the one of the best versions of Picard we've had in a long time, many years, maybe ten years, twenty years, I don't know. Uh, not to say that he hasn't been pretty good at times here and there. You know, he's like he could be pretty good, and it also depends on whether or not. The character has changed with, you know, people talk about it, especially like people at the folks at Red Letter Media. I'm about them. Yeah, me, Oatmeal Joe. Uh, me, that's my, that's my name. Oatmeal. I watched them today, earlier today, I mean, yesterday. Like, there wasn't, they would, they would uh, talk about the first episode of the season and talk about that and how it, was, it might be okay. And how, yeah, they could, like, they could ignore the last 20, 30 years of uh, the movies and shows and stuff. And just pretend like, you know, it ended at the last episode of Next Generation in Season 7. And fast forward to now. And now they're having new adventures and everything. I think that's it. It's interesting. I like it. Like, I like it like that. I mean, not to say that that, that nothing good came out like some some stuff came out like out of the movies i i find it a little bit interesting and the show the show picard is a little bit interesting the first two seasons but you know there's a lot of a lot of stuff that doesn't really work unless if you want to pretend like it does but if this problem is it changes a lot of stuff it is you know it's like Whatever floats your boat, but it's like, is it going to work for the character? Now, you know, it's, it depends on the character. It's like, people say, well, he's a bad actor. You know, the black girl. You know? Like, it really depends on the, what is the character supposed to be. And not all characters are going to be exactly what you want. It's like, you could say, well, this actor is supposed to, supposed to be like character X. And you could say, well, because the actor was a bad actor, couldn't act like character X, therefore, bad actor. Because we didn't get the kind of character we wanted, character X. However, that's only one way of thinking about it. And the other way of thinking about it is, what if the character is not really supposed to be that, not supposed to be character X, and really supposed to be character Y? You you know, think of the, think of it like algebra, math equation. A equals x. Okay, what if a equals y? A equals b. A equals another letter. Because you know you think you know what kind of character it's supposed to be like, and when the actor didn't act, didn't do it, didn't do it, you'd be like, oh no, bad actor. Unless if the the producers, the writers, the directors are like, 
we don't want character X. We actually want character B. Like the difference between Joker A and Joker B and Joker C and Joker D. Like all the different versions of Joker. All the different versions of Batman. All the different versions of Superman. And so on and so forth. It's like, even with that, it's like, you can have different characters. And they're going to be a little bit different. Are you going to be like, well, this actor that's playing playing Batman now, yeah, yeah, that guy, he was in Twilight, the Batman, yeah. He, like, kind of reminds me of a, of a vampire. He's not a really good Batman, but maybe he is. Because he's a different kind of Batman. And you'd be like, wait a minute, I kind of like Val Kilmer. No, wait, I kind of like the other guy. Who was in the uh, in the uh, ER show? Yeah, the guy in Ocean's Eleven. Not not Matt Damon, the other guy. <laughs> Why is this hard to remember his name? Um, not Mel Gibson, the other guy. Hold on, if I say all their names, I'll eventually remember, right? Do I need to look it up right now? But you know what I'm saying? Like, you're thinking about all these different guys who's ever played Batman. They all play Batman a little bit different. Now, you could say, well, they're all good actors. But at the same time, you have to admit that their per per portrayal of Batman's different. And that's my argument. I should probably make a video about this. Because I see people talk about it all the time. I mean, if, if you can say for certain you know exactly what the what the character is supposed to be like, and the actor doesn't do it, then you can say, bad actor. And I agree. Unless if the story calls for something different. Whether or not it's good or bad, it is what it is. Like, that's what the story calls for. And then therefore, if it's exactly what the story is, then it is what the story is, and therefore not a bad actor it's just a bad story which gets really really bad if it's based on a a true story but regardless it's like it is what it is and so you gotta actually you gotta really blame the the writers and the producers and the directors kind of like the prequels it's like you could only do so much it's like those are the characters what are you gonna do i don't know what you're gonna do but this part of picard is interesting and I like it and that's why I'm talking about that and then I want to talk about all the other stuff and I'm just going on a rant because it's coming to my mind because it's so cool because the word is a bird and they're fighting aliens with little costumes like Halloween with a girl captain like Voyager so it's like they have birds as foot soldiers like it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They're talking. They're talking. And he's expressive like his father. I, I am your father. That's impossible. No, that's impossible. Son, how old are you? I think... Yes, I did it with your mother. That many years ago. Oh my god, that's logical. Just kidding. Don't say kidding. Just kidding. Boy. Boy. Oatmeal boy. Shut up. Oatmeal boy. Shut up. Stop making fun of me. How you doing, old milk boy? <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Hey, yeah. I can say old milk boy any time I want. How you doing, old milk boy? <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, Mr. Bailey. Because I got high. Oh, I'm Vince Carter. I'm in. So she comes in and she's talking to this, uh, what do you call it? Big ear alien, uh, a fit Ferengi. A Ferengi? Ferengi? Who, who you working with? You working with Starfleet? No, he dead. And then out of nowhere, Mr. Mr. Uh, uh, Wolf come out and he's like slicing up. He's just like, he just does the slicing up and he saves the day. Instead of like the other guy with the, with the sword in the, in the, the first two seasons, you got this guy instead. They, they just totally replace the new character with the old character. Imagine if Disney did that with Star Wars. 
And they just like they just got rid of Ray, and they're like, "Here, you got Luke Skywalker now." Talking, talking. Looks like he's gonna he's trying to beam himself over to give himself up. Dog. To find the boy. Got him. Right. Hey, Picard. I'm away. Yeah. Yeah, we had a good time. And now we got son. I'm sorry I didn't tell him. Oh, I mean, I didn't tell you. <laughs> look at my face. I'm giving you the look. The look. That's right. I'm giving you the, the look. You know. God damn it. You're right. Admiral. Card. Activated. Everybody. Set everything down. That's right. You're going to listen to me. I'm taking over. That's right. That's right. I come in activate myself because I'm like... Oh, I'm a fighter. Uh, <laughs> I'm a fighter. That, so that's kind of cool. The only thing that's kind of troubling, I mean, out of, I know there's a couple different, I don't know how many, how many things are troubling, but the biggest thing might be, for this episode, the biggest thing is like, they don't go to warp speed to try to get away from this. They kind of, they, they go into the mist. It's like the mist by Stephen Hawking. Or whatever the guy, uh, Stephen King. Okay, uh, the mist, the cloud. It's like they go in farther into outside of federal, uh, what do you call it, Starfleet space. Uh, why would he do that? Like, what's going on here? I don't know what's going on here. I don't want to say. I don't want to think about it. Unless if you could say, well, they didn't have war speed, or if you go to war speed, then they'll blow it out, and you gotta hide. But why can't they just, I don't know. Are they, can you really hide in the mist of the, the fog and the, the space fog or whatever it is? Like, is it really that easy to hide from them? Don't they have like high tech sensors? Other than that, I, I, I thought it was an interesting episode and it, it just helps with the first episode. And so it's like, so far it's still going somewhere. And uh, so far, you know, it's it's a pretty good, pretty solid season. That's right. What's going to happen next week? Are we going to find something kind of crazy? What's going to happen? Are we going to have another baby? <laughs>